Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're taking a further look at iOS 13.1 beta one. Now, for those of you that do not know, yesterday Apple released another major beta update for iOS 13 in form of iOS 13.1 beta one. Now keep in mind, iOS 13.0, the official release is not even out just yet. So there's two major betas currently overlapping each other. We're expecting iOS 13.0 to be released in the next a few weeks here shortly, but 13.1 brings additional new features and changes. I've been playing around and digging around the software over the past 24 hours and I would like to share with you guys some additional new features and changes that I've come across after using the software. So starting with some UI changes here. With the volume HUD on 13.1 you now get any Bluetooth device that's connected to your device represented in the actual volume HUD. So for example if you have your AirPods connected it'll show the AirPods icon and the AirPod name below the volume HUD. Something different, something that is not current on iOS. 13.0 and let's say you're in a phone call this also translates to that so it shows the actual phone icon in the volume HUD and this also translates to other Bluetooth devices like external speakers or maybe a pair of beats it's a nice subtle change to the volume HUD and it also behaves a little different it pops into place a lot quicker it's a lot faster to control something different from 13.0 now also a feature intended for iOS 13.0 was removed and now brought back on 13.1 and that is under the series application the automations. This feature allows you to create automations that will run on your personal devices like iPhones and iPads, right, using Siri shortcuts. And you can also set this for your home, which I find the most use for. So for example, if you like to get home after work and listen to a certain type of music, maybe have your TV turned on, have your lights turned on, you can use these automations using location services to activate all these features all at once without having to even touch your phone using these automations. It's a really, really cool feature. And it is available on 13. 13.1. Again, this feature was intended for 13.0, but Apple did remove it in beta 6, I believe it was, and now brought it back on 13.1 beta 1. It's a really cool one. Now, this next one is sharing ETA. So if you have your group of friends or family or coworkers and you're going to attend a meeting or a family reunion and you're running a little late, you can always share your ETA directly on your iOS device with all your loved ones or even friends and coworkers and things like that. So sharing ETA is back. This was awesome also a feature intended for 13.0 but Apple removed it and now it is back and I'm really happy this is a really really awesome feature it helps everyone stay connected and know when everyone is going to arrive now Apple continues to make changes to the UI so for example if we 3d touch here on settings we see that the 3d touch platter take a look at the battery icon can you spot the difference here look how much larger and bolder the actual icon for the battery is and some of these other icons have also been slightly tweaked on 13.1 as well now this trend Translates over to control center as well. If we go to the volume indicator here, look how much larger the iOS 13.1 volume icon is in comparison to icon on 13.0. So a lot nicer to look at. Things are more visible. I like the changes that are coming to the software. Now also if we go to let's say the photos application and we go to share something here for example and we click on the airdrop icon here. Now every icon does represent exactly where you're actually dropping the information to. So for example the MacBook here says MacBook Pro and it shows the actual MacBook Pro icon which in previous beta just showed my actual um, emoji, the image that I have set up for my iCloud account. And here the iPhone actually represents the iPhone as well. So minor changes there, but a lot nicer in the way it should be in my opinion for the airdrop settings as well. And for those of you that might have missed yesterday's coverage, if we go to wallpapers, we have a slight tweaking here as well. So if we go to wallpapers here on 13.0, let's go ahead and jump into there and go to dynamic wallpapers. We now have different dynamic wallpapers. Apple brought back some of the old ones and some of the rumors indicate that Apple did bring these back because they do have the purple and the greens representing uh, apparently the colors of the new iPhone XRs coming later this year. I'm a little skeptic about that, but uh, it looks like uh, the iPhone's dynamic wallpaper are also different and uh, hopefully it stays that way. I'm still looking for a ton of new features to be added to the software. There's a lot more that I'm hoping Apple brings for iOS 13 and 13.1 in the future and beyond. We'll talk about that in later videos. Uh, you can expect my follow-up video on 13.1 here shortly where I talk about the battery, the performance, I compare multiple devices and I bring back some information for you guys. So stay tuned for that and subscribe. That's coming in the next couple of days. Thank you for watching today's video guys. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.